Hey guys, Ivan here. So we are two days out of Italy Pro, but we're also nine or eight and a half weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And we got a physique update of our current Mr. Olympia, Hare Japan. And now this physique update is very revealing. You can see his entire physique basically. And you can see that he is in amazing condition and that he is very, he's looking very, very competitive. And the fact that we forgot about him because he didn't post anything for a year. And we excluded him from the conversation about winning the Mr. Olympia 2023, or in his case actually defending his title, it doesn't really mean anything, because he looks damn good, he looks awesome, and he looks like he might very well defend the title. So check out this video he posted on his story, so look at him from this side angle, pay attention to his hair, his beard and his uh, necklace, he has the same thing in both videos, so this was probably, both of these videos were taken in one day, uh, this was probably later in the gym, and look at this freaking insane Mr. Olympia winning physique, I mean look at his conditioning for this point, he's already shredded basically. He's actually so shredded for 8.5 weeks out that I'm not sure if this is actually from right now. But based on the way his beard, his beard and his hair are absolutely the same in both of those photos and they don't look like old physique updates there on his story. And obviously this first one is just a little bathroom selfie, nothing special. Why would he post this if this wasn't recent? I'm sure it's recent. Uh, the only thing that I was worried about when I saw these two videos, especially when I saw this first one, I thought maybe his arms and his forearms and even his shoulders are looking a little bit smaller, right? I mean, overall, he kind of looks downsized. He doesn't look super, super thick, like super massive, the way he looked at the Mr. Olympia last year. Maybe the plan is to grow into the show, maybe it's just like the lighting, maybe he's flat, maybe he's dieting very hard already, and the lighting is not crazy here, and he's probably just, you know, at home, not even pumped, uh, flat once again, and the pose is not like the best pose of his. However, here, and I'm sure these two videos were taken in the same day, here, probably with a pump, under a great lighting, and with a little filter, he looks insane, man. I mean, this maturity, these details everywhere, these striations in his chest, in, in his uh, abs, he also has a really good midsection, uh, his legs, like, look at those freaking quads, like, he has that crazy maturity, that crazy hardness, that just reminds us of why this guy is the Mr. Olympia. I mean, I know he's not active on social media, he doesn't speak English, he's not really doing much for bodybuilding, but you can't argue with his physique. It speaks for itself. It speaks all freaking languages. I mean, just look at it and it's freaking insane. It's crazy. So, I mean, we all talk about new guys like Derek, Samson and Nick and these guys are gonna surpass Hadi and all that, but... Then I'm looking at Hadi and I'm not so sure. Check out this photo, for example, after last year's Mr. Olympia. And here you can kind of see, like, why Hadi actually beat Derek last year. Yeah, I know this was last year, but still, look at the chest. Like, look at that hardness. Look at the muscle fibers. Look at the sheer definition, the, 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 the quality of the muscle. I mean, Hadi was miles ahead of Derek at this point. I can definitely see a huge amount of progress that Derek made. I don't believe Hadi progressed that much, but I'm still not sure if it's gonna be enough because Hadi is just so advanced. Yeah, I know he wasn't this shredded from the back, but from the front, I don't know who has this kind of quality, who has these cross basically everywhere from the front. <laughs> I mean, chest and quads. Delts, not so much, we all know they are kind of a suspect, but arms probably too, but like the midsection, the chest, the quads, like the big body parts, you know, he has that crazy maturity, crazy graininess, yeah, I mean, we'll see, I mean, there is still eight and a half weeks to go, and based on Hadi's look right now, he's already shredded, and he doesn't look super big and full, so I'm guessing he's probably gonna try and like work on fullness from this point, I don't know, man, but like right now in this photo, if this is recent once again, but I have no reason to believe that it's not. If that's the case, he looks he looks insane. And those three guys, Samson, Derek and Nick, are gonna have their hands full with Hadi.
Now, if you guys are trying to make more progress in the gym and you wanna just help yourself out, here is a great mix of three things. So creatine, BCAAs and glutamine all in one and it tastes amazing. This is called Vintage Build by the Old School Labs. Once again, it tastes delicious. You can have it pretty much whenever you want throughout the day, but I would suggest that intra workout. If you guys wanna try it, the link is down below and if you use code EVAN, you get a 15% discount and that's how you can support me and this channel by trying, for example, Vintage Build and if you don't like it, you can get your money back, but I promise you, you're gonna love it. Like I said, we are three days out of Italy Pro and Regan Grimes is looking twice the size. I mean, literally, what the hell happened? If you guys watched my previous video on this topic, I said, I literally said that the next time Regan posts something, he's gonna be much bigger and much harder. And that is exactly what happened. And that is because I, I know how Milos works. I watch his clients all the time and I know that he's doing crazy things in the peak week. He really knows how to pick these guys. He can get them as full as they need, as they can be and as dry as they need to be. And he's accomplishing just that with Regan. I never saw Regan this big. I mean, he looked big uh, throughout this prep. But now, look at him now. And this is actually 72 hours before the show. Guys, he has three more days to fill out. He's not even full here. So imagine that if he's not even full here, how much more, how much more impressive, how much fuller is he gonna get? How much drier is he gonna be? If you are having doubts about his condition, don't, don't anymore. Because, I mean, if he if you if he is holding any water, he's gonna lose that water for sure. Milos knows how to dehydrate these guys, and he knows how to carb them up. He knows how to pick his guys, and he has been working with the Regan for a while now. He knows his body. This is going to be the best version of Regan so far, by far, by far. He was never this big and everybody else is gonna look small compared to him, probably. I know we have some heavy hitters and I'm gonna show you what Nathan Diasha looks like, but I'm pretty sure Regan is gonna be the widest, the biggest guy on that stage. Also, he's a six foot, uh, yeah, actually 182 centimeters is six foot, it's not five foot eight or whatever I said in, in that previous video, I made a mistake. So he's six foot, which means he's a taller guy and with this much muscle, with this crazy frame, he's gonna dwarf some people, guys, I'm telling you. And as long as his conditioning, his dryness and his fullness are on point, it's gonna be hard to stop him. But, yeah, once again, like I said, we have Nathan Diasha. I know Regan is looking pretty much unstoppable, but look at Nathan, look at him, he looks... He looks like he is bringing his absolute best ever. Look at this, look at the conditioning, look at the hardness. Yeah, he seems sharper, let's be honest, like, he looks harder, I mean, maybe it's just the lighting, maybe he's uh, peaking different way, I don't know, but look at him here, I mean, he looks, look at this, look at this, he looks super full and super conditioned, I don't know, we'll see what's gonna happen on that stage, but Nathan is like, he was one of the best bodybuilders in the world at one point, and he had a little break, but he's back. He looks like he's all the way back. And honestly, he I don't think he looked this good in years. It looks like he's bringing something crazy back. Now, did Regan did, do enough work in the past year, year and a half to progress so much to surpass Nathan? Yeah, he did beat him at Prague that one time, but once again, that was a one-off. That doesn't really mean much to me. I think it's all about who looks better on that day. And uh, to me, it looks like right now, Nathan is in better condition in terms of body fat. I think he has a lower body fat. Uh, if he peaks properly, if he is also full and dry on that stage at that moment, if his new coach, Stefan, uh, Ursus coach, by the way, if he peaks him right then, I don't know, man, look at this, look at, I have no idea, to be honest, I mean, as far as, like, maturity, and, you know, separation, and I would say probably body fat percent as well, I think Nathan is better in that regard, but I think Regan looks bigger, fuller, I think he made a lot of progress in the past years, I think more than Nathan did, and Regan has a better structure, I mean, look at his front double, I don't like it at all, because of this long torso, so Nathan has those kind of weaknesses, a couple of them, because of his structure. And Regan has a perfect structure. 
So that's that's definitely big advantage for Egan. I mean, both of these guys have a lot of strong points and some weak points. So it's going to be really hard to tell who's going to beat who, who's going to do what. Once again, it's really hard to predict. Like I said, like a week ago, I, I think Regan is going to win. I will stick with my prediction. But, I mean, I'm not so sure, man. It's going to be tough. Because Nathan looks like he is ready. Like, he is really ready. He is shredded. He is freaking shredded and he's all the way back. So, yeah, let's wait and see. Again, not 72 hours. It's been like 10 hours since Regan posted. So, around 60 hours is separating us from this awesome show. I mean, the other guys are all looking insane. It's going to be a hell of a show. One of the best shows of the year, really. Whatever you guys think, who's going to win based on these new physique updates, tell me in the comment section down below. And what do you think about Heidi? Do you think he's going to defend his title? Whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to support me, once again, buy any of the old school lab supplements. But please make sure to use the code EVAN. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to the channel. All the best and bye-bye.